Hello all, my name is Krishnak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, yesterday we had seen about this amazing library which is called as Gradio library. It actually provides interfaces for your machine learning model. Then I was starting exploring more things in this and I found out pretty cooler things guys. Now today in this particular example, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take some of the transfer learning techniques like inception, mobile net, and we will try to compare those models with the help of this kind of interfaces. And there you will also be able to add many images at once, like a scrollable image. And probably you can just move it, you can select it, you can submit it. Now guys, again, why I'm showing you all these things is that because it actually helps you to create some amazing interactive interfaces uh, without writing any HTML code. Okay. And that is very much good for the POC purpose. So let's proceed and let's try to see how to do it. Now here, as usual, what we do whenever we are trying to use this, uh, inception net mo models or mobile net. These are basically for the image classification problem. Now, first of all, what we are going to do, we are going to import Gradio before that, make sure that you install Gradio. Okay. So write pip install Gradio again, I'll be giving you this entire materials, but it actually helps you to pro create some amazing interfaces. Okay. So this, you can see that requirement is already satisfied. Now in the next step, I'm going to import some of the libraries like Gradio, TensorFlow, NumPy, uh, PIL import image request. Uh, this too is not required because I'm not going to use this URL request in my previous example. I was trying to use it, but uh, I think we will be using a uh, request. Okay. Let, let me remove this URL lib. I don't require it, but request will be required. Why? Because all the labels that I'm going to read it, I'm going to read from this particular URL. So if I go and execute this, these are my, all my output classes like Tench, Goldfish, great shark white shark because these are all the features all the thousand features that are probably there which will be able to be determined by our transfer learning techniques that basically means inception model will be able to determine this all kind of it is basically classified on all these particular images right so over here what we are going to do we are going to read this all the labels and then we are going to split it and store it in the label variable later on for, for this, the type of TensorFlow that I've used is 2.2.0. See this import TensorFlow as TF. And then I'm going to print the TensorFlow version. So here you'll be able to see 2.2.0. Now with the help of this TensorFlow, I'm just going to download the weights of MobileNet and Inception V3. Okay. Because I want to compare mobile net and inception V3. Okay. These are my transfer learning techniques, the state of art algorithms. I really want to compare this and see that how it is performing with uh, respect to the image classification. So I'm just going to execute this. This will probably take some time guys. Uh, if you are executing for the first time, it will download all the weights, but if you have executed it previously, those weights will be stored in your memory itself. Okay. Now the first function that I'm going to create, this function will basically take the mobile net uh, model and it will classify the image, whatever image I'm actually going to take. And this is basically the uh, code for doing the pre-processing and all. We know all these kind of things because I have already uploaded so many videos regarding this, right? So here what we are doing is we are taking that uh, image. We are uh, converting that into an array. We are resizing it. Then we are reshaping it. Then we are pre-processing it. Then we are flattening it. And then we are making this particular prediction. Before flattening, we need, we need to make the production and then we have to flatten it. Okay. And here I'll be getting the outputs. Okay. So this is my first classify image. And similarly, I'll try to create another function, which will classify image with inception net. So same thing, only the model will change here. Instead of writing mobile net, we'll have inception net. Okay. So these two functions we'll try to use, uh, for our prediction purpose and, uh, giving the input to this particular function and then doing the prediction. Okay. Now coming to the next thing over here, what I want to do is that I really want to create some kind of sample and let me just show you guys how this will look like. Now here you can see that this is how I want my output to look like below. You will be having all the images one by one. Okay. I want to list down all these images. My images can be multiple number of images over here. Then I should be able to select this particular image. I should be able to submit it. And once I submit it, it should be giving us with mobile net, what output it is basically given and with uh, inception net, what output we will be getting. Okay. And then we can actually create a screenshot. We can create whatever things we like. Suppose I take this monkey. I try to submit this. Now here it says that the output is this. And then by this, we are able to see the performance with the help of mobile net. I'm getting 96% accuracy with this, uh, inception net. I'm getting 90% accuracy. 
okay so all these things are there and over here you can also see that second category what it is displaying the third category what is display, displaying with respect to mobile net and all so first of all how many things are there two input first of all i want one input to basically upload the image i can also edit it see i can edit it i can basically crop it i can also crop it over here see this i i can crop and i can save it and then probably i can submit it okay i can do many things in this so this is one input this is one output two outputs basically one output for the mobile net and one output for the inception net this we'll try to see how to do it in the code and this all is done with the help of interfaces this thing basically shows that you can add all the images which you really want to test now i'll just click on load next load next like this particular one cycle i'm just submitting it it shows try cycle right over here if i go select next i may select this then it may show me a african hunting dog again if i select this probably it will go over here and probably tell me red fox so all these things this kind of scroll bar i should also be able to see that that images are coming and for doing that what i we have to do is that first of all we have to consider one input that is one image output basically how many number of labels we are focusing on three labels and then we are taking all the sample images now this sample images will be the list of uh, list of images right so this is nothing but sub nested list so i have one main list and inside that every images i am actually trying to write it down like for monkey.jpg sale.jpg and where are these images in the same working location where this file is actually present and you also have to download it okay then what we have to do is that we will try to use this interface again in the first scenario we need to provide my two input function one is classify image with mobile net and classify image with in, uh, inception net because in our previous example always remember in gr dot interface if i press shift tab the first thing is function if you have multiple function i will provide a list of function okay and if you have inputs all these things are there right then you provide your input input is nothing but your image in right then you provide your output label title you can provide anything mobile net versus inception net some description and then examples with respect to the sample images example this sample images will be taken from here since it is present in the same working location it will be able to pick it up and then you launch it so once you execute it you will be able to see like this so here is your entire image okay i'll clear it okay first i'll go with monkey i'll submit it here is my output i'll go and select next i'll submit it here i'll get y'all then again i can put next then i can select this i can submit it then again i'll go and select this i can submit it here are two options also which i can write like this or i can also select like this okay so these are like vertical and horizontal now why this things is very good guys because see tomorrow i really want to see that how my model is performing right i can take my custom model i can put it over here i can show the comparison quickly with this amazing ui and here yeah. i did not have to write any single line of code with respect to html or js yes i i'm not saying that you will be able to deploy this no but for your quick work you don't have to have a dependency on any ui people right so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe the channel if you are not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day ahead thank you one doll bye bye